Sorry, this is so cute. Green is my favorite color, so. Oh! We are going to be doing a JW Pay, JW Pie unboxing. I'm not sure how to say it, but basically I bought one too many items during Black Friday in 2022. So this is not a January purchase, but I thought I would go through all the bags with you. I've had a quick peek. Haven't worn any of them yet because I was thinking, oh, do I need all four bags? And it just occurred to me that there seems to be a running theme in all these bags. I seem to like a particular bag a lot, but you'll, you'll see it once we get into it. This is the biggest box and it's because it's the biggest bag. Before we get started, this brand is pretty big. If you haven't heard of them, they went viral. They've been worn by the likes of Gigi Hadid, Hailey Bieber, I think Irina Shayek, I think as well. Yeah, so quite a number of famous people. And the reason I think they went viral is because these bags are luxury. I say luxury, quote unquote, because it's made from a really nice luxury vegan leather. But the bags are really affordably priced. I think the majority of them are supposed to be under $100. There are some that are over. But popular bag at the moment, actually, is the Gabby bag. However, I didn't buy the Gabby bag because I feel like I've seen it one too many times on one too many people. And I like to have slightly unique pieces. And yeah, the bag, the Gabby bag just wasn't doing it for me personally. So there is not going to be a Gabby bag in this haul. This one was $81.20 after discount. And it is the Abacus Top Handle Bag, brown. And this comes in all sorts of different colours. <laughs> this comes in all sorts of different colours. I picked the brown because, number one, the first one I actually went on the website to look for, the green, had sold out. And I just thought, oh, a nice neutral colour. I don't really have any brown bags, brown handbags. So I like this. I thought this was really cool. And yeah, it's... The leather feels amazing, I'm not going to lie. It feels like a cushion. <laughs> feels so so nice definitely definitely a thumbs up with the leather the design is incredibly unique i love the name of it the abacus my son has an actual abacus so this is quite funny this is obviously a bag it has the logo just here i like the fact the logo is small i'm not a huge fan of loud logos i'm not yeah i'd rather it subtle I love the slight variation in tone of brown as part of the abacus, so it's not just totally monotone. But overall, it's a really nice, cute little bag, and it's not expensive at all when you're comparing it to other luxury bags, luxury handbags. It's worn like this. Putting it over the shoulder is a little bit challenging, even though I know I am wearing a, a blazer, but still. Maybe not the easiest to put over the arm, but alternatively it can be held like this, which is probably how I would hold it. But to be honest, I'd probably just like to shove it on here. Yeah, so you can do that. It feels really squishy. But, you know, you wouldn't probably be able to do this. If, if I wore anything thicker, like a coat, I wouldn't be able to do this. So I would have to do this. And this is it, it doesn't have a strap or anything like this. So it would be just held by hand like this, which is cool. I'm okay with that. I feel like this bag can be dressed up and dressed down, which is really cool as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this bag now. After going through all the points and benefits of this bag and looking at the price, I mean, I actually, I think I'm gonna keep it. It's just really nice bag. Like I said, it's neutral, so it's perfect. So that's bag number one. Let me know your thoughts. What are your thoughts on this bag? Have you seen that bag ever before? It's so unique. Okay, so I also wanted to do a how much can the bag actually fit in it? Because really, that's what the bag is for, right? And I just wanted to give you some sort of idea of how big it is. By the way, I should have mentioned at the beginning, but it comes in this really beautiful satin with a satin desk bag. It's just really simple, black and white. And yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so let's open the bag and see 
how much it fits. So it's full of stuffing at the moment, as you would expect. This is the serial number and everything. So realistically, I tend to carry just the bare essentials. I'm gonna fit my phone in, my keys, Yeah, that fits in. That's the label. Let's take the label out, actually. Um, my beats. Literally don't go anywhere without my beats. So that's so far so good. Some form of lip gloss or lip balm. I did have two here. I had Vaseline as well, but I mean, one is fine. Hand cream. glasses yeah i will just squeeze this in there for anybody that wears glasses <laughs> i'll try not to break my glasses this is a bit of a stretch <laughs> let me see if i can rearrange things a little bit but we are okay with the absolute bare essentials i would love to also take a battery pack a like power bank but i don't I'm not sure whether that would fit in here as well i probably have to get a small one but yeah that actually feels quite good and sometimes i actually like these smaller bags because you're not forced there's a limit because i'm one of those people the bigger the bag i'll use it all the space in the bag so it'll be breaking my shoulder so with this you, you can only fill it as much as the bag will, will let you so this is quite nice it still feels really nice and not too heavy because i'm not a fan of heavy bags really beautiful yeah this definitely passes the how much can it take check so that one's definitely a win-win for me i would give that a nine out of ten actually because i think for the price point i think it's brilliant so on to the next bag okay so the next bag we're going to have a look at will be the joy bag so it actually says it on the side so the joy bag i think was the cheapest bag and it's actually quite nice so the reason i bought this bag was because i don't have a white bag and this looks really quite nice it looked sturdy again it comes with this white dust bag very simple which i like and i love the gold hardware because i feel like i'm wearing a lot more gold these days look at my jewelry so i'm loving the gold hardware it even has like a goldish sort of label on it as well obviously the other bag was um closed with a zip this one is quite different this one i think is magnetic if i remember correctly oh no it's a button it's a but it's a button but it's a sort of magnetic button yeah it's a magnetic button <laughs> and actually quite cool i have to say this feels incredible quality oh my goodness this feels so sturdy wow and i love the shapes of their bags their bags are not boring <laughs> it's a white tea bag maybe off-white i would say but it's just got something really nice about it sort of like a horseshoe shape but not quite harder is amazing i've always loved i really really love um stitching that's you can see sometimes i know jacquemus has that in their bags and i really like this style of bag so that's just attention to attention to detail but actually this bag honestly feels really sturdy like i see what everybody's shouting about i have to say because sometimes you know all these bags are so overhyped but actually it feels solid it feels solid and i'm pretty sure yeah it doesn't have a single item it has no stuffing in whatsoever and it is rock solid like rock solid that's amazing wow and for 62 pounds amazing 
I don't think you can totally dismantle the handle, but I think you can just hide it, I think, if you want to get the whole clutch effect. You can literally just hide it, which is great. So that bit's a bit fiddly. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, that bit's a bit fiddly. Trying to get it to the exact button part of the magnet is a bit fiddly. But it's solid. And it's a lovely, lovely, lovely smooth leather. <sighs> Amazing. Really impressed, I have to say. Oh, and this is a little bit of a problem because I don't think I want to keep every single bag. But they do tick boxes off in my wardrobe at the moment. I don't have a single white bag. And this is a really good quality one. <sighs> what do you think? I think I'm going to give this a... 8 out of 10, only because I hate fiddly but like that button thing irritates me a little bit, <laughs> a bit annoying. Just fiddling it, making sure it's exactly in the right spot. See, actually now I'm looking at it, it's not, this one's not in the right spot. Neither of them are actually. So I'm not sure whether you can, whether they're meant to be used as a clutch as well, but I'm sure, surely you can. I don't know whether you can. Because obviously you don't want coins or anything falling out. Okay, so that's in the right spot, but it keeps coming out. So perhaps it's only supposed to be used for a bag. Mm, that one's in the right spot now. That one's in the right spot. So you can use it for a clutch, but yeah, it just takes a bit of fiddling around to get the magnet buttons to be exactly in the right spot. Eight out of 10 for me. I nearly forgot, how much can this hold? My phone, that's going in. That's just gone in. I've got my keys. <laughs> it's looking a little tight, but let's keep going. We've got my hand lotion. And then we've got my beats. And we've got my lip gloss. And we've got my glasses. And yeah, that all fits in. Very, very impressed. That is brilliant. And like I said, it was sturdy. Over the arm, I think there's plenty of room, no matter what size you are, I think there's plenty of room. I think it's such a nice, it feels so nice. So yeah, definitely eight out of 10 for me. Bag number three, we're nearly there. Well done if you're still watching. This is the bag that I initially went on the website for, but I wanted it in the larger size, but the larger size was sold out, but I wanted it so much, I thought, oh, I don't have any mini bags, I'll get it in a mini bag. And this is the Abacus Faux Fur Mini Top Handle Bag in grass green. So I saw somebody on TikTok with the big version and I was like, oh my gosh. And so many other people were like, oh my gosh. And then when I went to buy it, it had sold out. So this is the bag. Oh, sorry, this is so cute. This is so cute. And as I've probably gone on and on and on about, oops, green is my favorite color. So, oh, it feels like, I was gonna say a cat I never have had, but it probably feels even nicer than that. I don't know, I just, I just love this. So it's the Abacus style again. Can you tell I love the Abacus style? I like interesting bags, bags that are not boring. The question is though, when am I gonna wear these bags? Cute one because I don't have any mini bags at all. And I know the micro trend has been huge with the with the Jackmus bags, but oh, I don't know. The Jackmus bags, I just feel like they just everybody rinsed them. It just oh, I just thought oh, um some of them are ridiculously micro, right? Like I feel like they wouldn't even get my lip gloss at this point. They're that tiny. So I've ne I never bought any micro bags, but this may be my first really micro bag. And I really like it. I'm not mad at it at all. What do you guys think? I wish you could feel it. I wish you could just reach into the camera and feel this bag. So soft wise, the feel of it is 10 out of 10. <laughs> How much realistically can I get into this micro bag where you're like, so absolute essentials. Yeah, this can't get a Pro Max in. I'm not sure whether it will get a smaller phone in, but it's not fit fitting my Pro Max in. 
so not great my keys yeah my keys fit my keys fit so that's good my keys fit i can hold my phone that's fine can't have it all can't have it all beats these are not absolute bare essentials like i love to have them but if i can't have them it's fine but the good thing about these these are very flexible so they should be able to fit what i know isn't gonna fit and i'm hoping to attempt to get it in i'll try but it's not gonna fit are my glasses um so yeah they don't fit glasses in guys so if you wear glasses like me maybe go out in contacts when you go out with this bag which is what i will be doing and when you go out with this bag you'll probably be going somewhere fancy anyway likely so you wear contacts if you can that's what i'll be doing these are my ralph lauren glasses no they just they don't fit hand cream doesn't fit yeah basically this can just fit my keys and my beats not terrible i would wear contacts i'd hold my phone it would be all right so yeah micro bag at least it fits something at least it fits something and i'm sure it can i can squeeze in my lip gloss as well yeah and it fits my lip gloss so three out of six items isn't bad considering it's micro that's not bad my lips will be well moisturized i'll be able to get back and i'll be able to enjoy some music and that's fine i'll still be able to see because i wear my contacts and i will be carrying my phone because god gave me two hands so all good oh and you know it's never going to be too heavy so yeah it's not bad this isn't bad guys i'm gonna give this a and i also feel like you can dress this up and down so i think i'm gonna i might give this a nine out of ten can you see i think i'm loving the abacus bag so much they've all had nine out of ten so far I'm never gonna get this around your shoulder you can barely get it around across your wrist so it's gonna be handheld and that's absolutely fine last but certainly not least it's also the most expensive one so this is the abacus artificial crystal mini top handle bag abacus again <laughs> I love the shape of that bag it's so unique so i got another abacus bag this one reminded me of the prada you know the really sequin prada bags prada loves their sequins at the moment and they were loving them during the christmas season and um, the end of last year i was in selfridges and i saw a lot of sequin prada bags this is jw pay's version Ooh i have to admit so this cost £103.20 down from £129 because I got some money off. I have to admit I was slightly underwhelmed when I saw it only because I don't know how I expected the sequins to look but it just almost seemed like they were stuck on like I literally just got some super glue and stuck them on even though I know it took a lot more time than just that it just seemed a little bit like okay I've just got super glue and stuck them on but it does have a really lovely effect and something like this bag it's just so small and chic it's a bag you'll go out to dinner somewhere fancy so you know you're never going to need to carry an ipad there you don't need to carry 10 million things it's likely if you wear glasses you're going to wear contacts like i do anyway um so the size doesn't bother me at all. I'm just concerned about the actual sequins. And I was actually thinking of returning all the bags apart from this one. And then when this one came, I was like, actually, I think I prefer some of the other ones. I'm not sure. Um, of course, it has the abacus detail again. So this. But I, and I have to say, the box has been moved around quite a bit, but it doesn't look like a single sequin has fallen off it's way more affordable than the prada version what do you think i'm really interested in knowing your guys's thoughts because i feel like it looks better on the website than in person but the green one didn't disappoint when i saw it in person i was like oh my gosh amazing i think it's because i can see a bit of the black underneath that was a bit like okay it literally looks like they've just copied it like stuck it on with super glue Obviously, it's it's neat. You can't see bits of glue anywhere or anything like that. 
an issue i don't have anything like this in my wardrobe as part of my collection at the moment but then it's like how many abacus bags do i really need does one woman need so i have a lot to think about because i don't know they're all really good prices i'm not i'm not gonna put things in this bag only because it's probably going to be super similar to the other micro one because they're both the same size let me know your thoughts let me know your thoughts i am very interested to know whether you like which bag you like which is your favorite which is your least favorite would you consider buying from jw pie uh, have you seen any of the bags that you've liked i want to know your thoughts because i suddenly overnight have a collection of four J jw pie bags and i don't even know if i'm going to keep any of them i'm literally like i don't know but i don't have a single one of these items in my closet so so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do <laughs> But actually recording this video has helped me quite a bit to just think about everything. How much can it fit? Realistically, when am I going to wear it? This one, obviously, I wouldn't say you can dress. You can dress it down. Wear a pair of jeans and a white shirt and wear this if you want. But I mean, that's going to be for a photo. That's realistically, I'm not going to take this everywhere with me just because of how delicate it appears to be, even though it, not one sequin has come off to be fair so i would say this one would be the more dressier one but all the all of the others i can dress down you can dress all of them down but i would say the micro rags would probably be best only really dressed up with you know something fancy but anyway i will stop rambling if you enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe share i would look secondhand as well i did see a lot of jw pie secondhand it's a really good bag to invest in actually if you want a good quality leather bag but yeah let me know what you think and thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye guys